What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through Stark Mountain. We did a lot of stuff up there, and, uh, well, we still got one more thing to do, but that's going to have to take a backseat for this. We are going to be doing the Shaman event, mainly because it's, uh, it's pretty long. It really is. It's very long. And uh, the only way we can do this is through action replay. Now, if, as many of you guys already know, the action replay codes, yes, I know it's cheating and all that stuff, but what can we do? The events, they expired a long time ago, damn near 10 years ago. So, yeah, if you guys want a complete walkthrough, here it is. We're going to be using action replay codes because, well, we're close to being done with this walkthrough. And, uh, well, we've done everything. So, might as well do this. Now, if you guys are looking for the action replay code for the Shaman event, it's going to be down there on the description below. All you need to do is press the L and R button on your, uh, well, on your, well, yeah, on your D-pad, if you guys have a D-pad or anything like that. Go into the Pokemon, uh, or the Pokemart, and you'll be seeing the man in green. This guy right here is going to be like, I received a gift from you, and you're going to be getting yourself the Oaks letter. That right there is very, very important because, well, it's going to lead us to the next thing, which is over at the Pokemon League. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are in the Pokemon League, and all we need to do now is go through Victory Road. Make sure to bring a lot of repels because you're going to be needing it. Now, if you guys remember, a few episodes ago, we went straight into the Pokemon League for the first time, and there was an individual blocking in a secret area. He is still here, obviously, because... Well, something's going on with my game. I don't know what it is. So we're gonna do we're gonna try different methods because we've already defeated the Elite Four. Believe it or not, I defeated him again just to make sure this guy got out of here, but I guess yeah, something's wrong. I don't know what it is. So what is going to happen is I'm gonna be using another action replay code to get past him. That way we can get to the area with Shaman. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we crossed him. Yes, we went invisible. And now here we are in the in the secret area into the Pokemon League. All you need to do now is go down here and you're gonna be finding yourself another individual, and that is Marley. Huh, you are. Oh, Draven, please help me, please. Um, I want you to get through this tunnel. Will you let me go with you? Sure. We're gonna be going with Marley right here now as you guys can see it is foggy and Well, our Pokemon shouldn't be hurt. So what's going to happen? Hmm We're gonna have to we're gonna be forced to be using defog right here because this is ridiculous and uh, It looks like to me Yeah, Hadouken's the only one that can learn it and uh, crap baskets Eh, we can fix that. We can fix that. So we're gonna teach defog instead of cr crunch, and we'll we'll get that. We'll like we'll fix that up in, uh, eventually. So we're gonna be using defog right here. As you guys can see, everything clears up. Alrighty, guys. So got a phone call. Sorry about that. Anywho, uh, what's going to happen here now is that you're gonna need a Pokemon with strength, and that's what we're gonna be doing. We're just gonna be moving things around right here. Bam, and uh, if you guys are thinking of surfing, you can't do that right here because, well, you got another passenger with you. I don't think it's going to work, and look at that. We both have a uh, big booty butt kiss alongside with us, and, well, we're both aiming at the same thing. And, well, here comes Ludicolo. I got aerial lace on that guy, and she keeps on doing, uh, what was it called? Um, she keeps on doing helping hand. That right there strengthens us up just a little bit, so... That's pretty good right there. And, well, let's go straight for a flamethrower attack. And an outrage is going to hit us. I don't know why you're boosting up your stats right there. But there it is. We have defeated these girls. And, uh, well, or these guys, I should say. And uh, that looks like to me that we got some uh, some items right here. So try not to push these try, try not to push these forward. Push them to the side. And, yes, you're going to be finding yourself some more trainers right here. And, well, look at this. We got ourselves Mr. Mime and Shuppet. So, let's go straight for the attack right here. Bam. And here comes a Reflect attack. And, well, we're going to keep on going with Alakaz or with Flamethrower just because. And I guess Mr. Mime is there just for the defense and all that stuff. And, well, here comes Miss Magius. And, well, again, another Flamethrower for the win. And just like that, we have defeated both Landon and the other Psychic. And, well, as you guys can see... We got items afoot. Okay, so... I probably shouldn't have done that. Crap baskets. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, you got a choice between one or two. So we're going to go with this one. 
And we'll be back for the other one. As you guys can see, we found ourselves a full restore. And we're going to be going up against somebody right here. And... Well, let's go. Let's get it. Going up against a... a well, Karate King or Karate Person and a... You know, a uh, expert right there. And Extreme Speed does the trick. There you go. And, yes, we are mashing on these Pokemon right here. So let's go straight for an Aerial Ace. That defeats that guy. And here comes another Machoke. So, there we go. Stone Edge finishes us off. What's going to happen is we're going to be switching it up right here. Let's go straight for Leonardo. And Stone Edge doesn't affect us that well. So here comes a Surf Attack for the win. And Magmar... How's it going, Surf Attack? For the win! And yes, we have defeated this guy right here. So, let's go ahead and... Yeah, let's go ahead and just keep on battling whoever we see right here. Holy crud baskets, okay. Alrighty! And a great thing about having a partner right there with you is the fact that they could heal you whenever you, whenever you need the help. So you won't be wasting on healing items right there. And, well, flame... Oh, yeah. It's extreme speed right there. And another extreme speed. And it looks like to me, I'm going to have to switch out my Pokemon because that doesn't look good. So let's go with Toothless right here. And that doesn't affect us. So let's go with the Dragon Rush. Nope. And Buckus grows to level 74. And that's how we win. Yes. Okay. And, well, before we go anywhere, might as well find some more items right here. So like I was saying in the last few episodes, guys, yes, we are towards the end of this whole, this whole walkthrough right here. My mind is just saying, you know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and capture everything with ease and finish this whole thing up. That way you guys actually have episodes. Okay, the important stuff, they're already done. And... Yeah, the important stuff already done. You guys got a full walkthrough. We're going to finish this whole thing up this week. And yes, we're going to be incorporating a lot of captures. And, well, by the time we're done, we're done. And we won't have to ever talk about Pokemon Platinum ever again, except for when we play Brilliant Diamond and stuff. Even then, I've seen, I've literally seen how it goes, and uh, trust me, I am not looking forward to, to playing play Brilliant Diamond. So, here we go. Going up against these guys right here, and, well, they're coming out with, they're coming out with some pretty easy Pokemon, so... Let's go straight for a Flamethrower attack, quadruple damage onto Fortress, and Heracross has been defeated. And, wow, okay, so that's not going to work. That's not going to work again, so let's go straight for this. Aerial Ace does the trick. And that Sandstorm is going to just keep on messing us up. So, let's go with Toothless. And go with an Earthquake attack. That way it hurts everybody, including Arcanine right here. And Hippodon. And here comes the Gyarados. So, let's go switch to Raiden. And the reason why I got Raiden right here is because it does have Thunder Wave, so it could help us out just a little bit for this next thing that we're going to be doing. And, well, let's see. Yes, we reached the end, and she's like, oh, this is it. There's a stone tablet ahead. I wanted to see the Pokemon that visits it. That's all. I appreciate you your escorting me just a little. Oh, wow. Just a little. She's, uh, she's harsh for words right there now. Now that we can actually surf, let's go right ahead and see what we got with the surfing attack right here. And, well, actually it's a shortcut. So, yeah, we'll get these items a little bit later, guys. Don't really need them right now. Let's go straight out here, going into the victory road yet again. And, well, would you look at that. We are in Route 224. And, yes, there is a butt, a butt ton of battles, which we will be, you know, just breezing through just because... Screw it, let's go. And well, here we go. Flamethrower attack for the win. And here comes a Gyarados. So let's go. Let's give Raiden a little bit of damage or a little bit of love too. Damage, love. It is what it is. And well, there we go. So let's go ahead and grab some items. Look at that. We found ourselves an upgrade, which uh yeah, that actually evolves a Porygon to Porygon 2. Yes, and well, let's go with an aerial ace attack. Aerial ace again. And Alkazam's coming out, so let's go with Joust. I haven't used Joust in a while. Here comes a Crunch Attack. And nobody can withstand Joust. And, wow. Yeah, this place is, uh... This place is quite surprising just because of how many things. Now, I remember playing this game for the first time. And not knowing a single thing about this whole area after you have defeated the Elite Four. 
it wasn't until like you know you started watching the earlier versions of YouTube that yes you do need actual replay codes to get through this whole thing I was still it, like my mind was still in that, that that form that like oh you probably need a link cable and all that stuff so yeah that's how old school I am right there guys and well let's see we're gonna be skipping that dude right there oh there's a item right there that could be useful <laughs> Make sure to bring a lot of repels, guys, because, yes, you're going to be needing them. And here we found ourselves a PP Max. And, well, let's go right here. And let's go with this one, Citrus Berries. Got to love the Citrus Berries. Got to get the Blue Berries. And got to get the Whippier Berries. And let's go with this one right here, Nana Berries. Yes. Okay, so let's go, let's go right ahead and reappear towards the other section right there again this whole area right here guys is going to be a long one just because of the amount of trainers that are around here now they're no pushovers they really aren't so if you guys need some extra training this is the place to go to this is probably going to be the place where I'm going to be battling and training some of my Pokemon for the Pokemon League so here we go flamethrower attack and there's a minimize that doesn't work and toothless grows to level 65 here comes a lick a tongue so let's go with a surf attack right here and power whip is hitting us but that doesn't work at all mighty n is coming so let's go with toothless and go with a dragon rush and that right there is gonna get us mad so earthquake attack does its trick and well here we are going straight into another area right here I almost wanted to like battle this guy which I am gonna be battling and here it comes with Tyro this is new Holy crud, okay, so here comes Hitmonlee, here comes the Aerial Ace attack, yes, alrighty. Okay, so let's see, there could be new items right there, and yes, we have found ourselves a pearl, wow, keep on coughing. <coughs> yeah, you gotta love this whole thing right here, and, well, you're not gonna find anything, except for maybe right here, nope. Okay, so, let's go ahead and still battle everybody. And this guy's got himself an Aerodactyl. How many of that? Like, how many times do you, do you see that? An opponent having an Aerodactyl. Let's go, Surf Attack. And that does the trick. And, well, let's go right ahead and continue on right here. Now, there is an item right there that you can actually grab. So let's go ahead and grab that. And I guess that's a shortcut. It is a shortcut. Okay. So, no shortcuts right here because, yeah. Alright, so here he comes out with dragon type Pokemon, so fly oh wow, he is uh yeah, we gotta get this we gotta get this going before this guy starts beating the crud out of us. And Dragon Pulse hits us hard. And here comes Seedra. So let's go with Raiden right here. And go with a thunder attack, and just like that, Seedra has been defeated. I really wish that they would have made Seedra to a dragon type Pokemon rather than just like, you know, regular water type, and well, I guess that's pretty much it. Let's see, Max Repel, and let's go right here, and as you guys can see, we have found a stone, and our good old friend, Marley, she's like, I, I don't like to talk. I choose my words carefully, but they may still hurt someone accidentally. When I think of that, I clam up. That's why I think this certain Pokemon is so wonderful. It's a Pokemon that conveys the feelings of gratitude in a nice way. Hmm, no wonder you no wonder you, you, you came off as a you know what to me. So Marley is stating this. The, the, that stone tablet, it has a strange feel to it. Hmm. A strange feel to it. Now let's go right ahead and take a look at this. The surface is unmarked. It's a uh, polished like a mirror. Hmm. Polished like a mirror. And well, let's see. I think you still need to have the oaks letter right here, so let's see. Hold on, and yes, we got the Oaks letter. Okay, so I think you need to do something right here, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so we figured out the issue right here, guys. So it turns out that good old Draven has forgotten to save his complete game. Right around the part where, you know, like he should have, you know, in the last few episodes. And I guess it reverted me all the way back to where I was, and hence me doing this all over again. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get the I didn't get the national decks. That's the reason why this thing didn't activate. So anywho, Professor Oak is right here, and well, all you need to do now 
is talk to good old Professor Oak. He's going to be like, ah, Draven, it's good to see you. Without any further ado, I'd like you to examine this stone tablet. Something just like this was also discovered in the Kanto region. I want to ask for your help in solving the mystery behind this. I tried deciphering the engravings on the stone tablet. Apparently it is for a trainer to engrave his or her thoughts after growing as a person in the adventure. A person fitting that description would be you. That's why I'm asking you for your help. You've met many people in Pokemon. You've experienced many things that shaped you into the person you are. I want you to sincerely, 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 I can't even say it, tell me who affected you the most. Tell me to whom you want to say your, your thanks to. Well, it's very simple. She never really gets a lot of a uh, thank you, but I am going to do it right here. This one is going to be going out to my mama in all the games because, well, she has to put up with me being gone most of the time. She cleans my room. She does everything. She cooks, cleans, and everything. On top of it all, she is a badass trainer when it comes to contests, and she never really gets recognition for that. So, yes, this is going out to my mama. Okay. So Professor Oak is noticing, and he's like, hmm, you must want to express your thanks to your mama. You're absolutely certain of it. Yes. Now, it doesn't matter what you put. Anything works, and from there, it activates this little thing. Well, hello there. Hmm, it's Shaman. And he's whistling, and if you guys could take a look... Down on the screen, yes, this route just, yeah, it gets long. Really long. So, Professor Oak is surprised. He's like, what was that Pokemon? Is it somehow connected to the stone tablet? Hmm. Where did that Pokemon go? Its destination is intriguing. Hmm. Marley. She's like, thank you. You must have been the Pokemon that conveys the feelings of gratitude. You made it so, you made it so I could see it. So, I'll have to convey my thanks in my, in my own words, too. Okay, so all you need to do now is, yeah, go straight to the Pokemon. Now, there is just one messed up thing, and that is that, yes, most of my Pokemon are overpowering this this, this one Shaman. So we're going to speed it up a little because this place is long. This place can be good for you to actually, you know, um, work on your eggs and all that stuff. So here we are in the Flower Paradise, and, well, we got to save the game before, yeah, things happen because, yeah. That that that's gonna that's that's gonna be bad right there. Now, if you guys have noticed, if you guys have noticed, yes, I do have 493 Pokemon onto the, the list. Why? Because before I was thinking of doing what was it? Um, before I was thinking of getting all these Pokemon out, or actually looking at looking for all the Sinnoh Pokemon, I was like, you know what? I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm too tired of doing or looking for Pokemon. So I'm just gonna go with the cheat right there. That way, I can get to the next thing. Little did I realize, you guys already seen it, yes. They were easy to find, so I guess I still had the cheat on there? I don't know. I really don't care, guys. At this point, we're at the very end of this whole thing. We might as well do it, since we're using Action Replay. So, here's Shaman, and he's like, Kyun Kyun! And, well... Would you look at this? Shaman! Level 30, and this Pokémon right here is a grass type Pokemon. So what we're gonna be doing is yes, we're gonna be thunder war like thunder uh oh wow. It healed itself, so we're gonna be thunder waving it. And hopefully this shockwave doesn't kill it. Yep, it's not gonna kill it. So we're gonna just shockwave it and make sure that you know it doesn't die. And wow, it uses synthesis. Now this Pokemon is a hard Pokemon to try and capture, especially for its size. And well, let's go right ahead and use some status healers right here. So Let's go straight for, not the Max Revive, let's go with a Potion right here. Let's go right here, and let's full restore this guy, and, well, what if you use Thunderbolt on this guy? Wow, it, it's just going to keep on healing, so there's, n yeah, there's really no point in, like, trying to do anything else. As you guys can see, yeah, this guy is not letting me live, so let's go right ahead and use an Ultra Ball. Damn it! And this Pokemon, yeah, definitely not letting me live. So what's going to happen is we're going to be switching it off to Hadouken. That way this Pokemon doesn't uh, try and steal any more of my, my HP. That's the reason why. So let's go with this and give Raiden back its HP. Here comes Magical Leaf. Doesn't work on me. Let's go back to Raiden. And that growth attack is going to 
really power it up. So here comes Magical Leaf. And let's go with some Pokeballs right here. So let's go with Ultra Balls. And just like that, we captured Shaman. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So, like I said earlier, guys, we've already gotten the information. So I'll be right back with you to show you guys the information on Shaman. Alrighty, so here we have Shaman, the gratitude Pokemon. The flowers all over its body burst into bloom if it if it is lovingly hugged and senses gratitude. Yes, this Pokemon is just 8 pounds and everything, and, uh, well, that is pretty much it right there for our good old Shaman. Now, in the next episode, yes, we're going to be doing a butt-ton of captures. We're going to be capturing every single legendary Pokemon, whether it be roaming, event, or just stationary into the game right here. Yes, we're going to have lots of fun, guys. Again, thank you guys for being patient. Thank you guys again for being uh, as awesome as uh, as always. We're going to be finishing up this game this week, so stay tuned because the next episode you do not want to miss. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.